Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile video, and this time it is going to be on the Performer Pal Zodiac deck that I played this past weekend at YCS Atlanta, or rather, a minor tweaked version thereof. There are still some changes I feel like I'm going to make to the deck because I want to play this deck at a few regionals that are coming up in the coming weeks, specifically this weekend in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's a regional there I'll be attending, and I want to play this deck, but uh, I need to tweak it around because the biggest problem I had in the tournament was that I was uh, having problems going second, which was something that I did not think was going to be as big of an issue as it ended up being. I thought my deck was a bit better built for going second because of it being a pendulum deck um, than it actually ended up being, but this deck is very much a brainchild of me and one of my best friends, Owsley. Um, we've been tweaking this deck in theory and all that and doing testing with it for the past couple of weeks uh, leading up to the event. And ultimately, we're both very pleased with how the deck performs going first, but going second is a different story. So there's going to be some minor uh, tweaks to this deck between now and the next event I play that will uh, cause me to have a changed list and hopefully be better off going second. But anyway, uh, the list that I played in Atlanta is the one that you are about to see, and it includes three copies of Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. This card is actually just insane, uh, and this was the main reason we wanted to play this deck. It is so hard to lose with this deck when you resolve a Pendulum Summon with Sorcerer in it. You it just puts you so far ahead as far as resources go, because you get to draw two, you get to search two, you get to do a bunch of different things, you get to trigger your Ariadnes. Uh, it's just, it's such a more high impact Pendulum Summon than like Metal Foes provides, which was the other option for playing a Pendulum Zoo deck. Uh, so we decided we wanted to play this deck uh, because strictly of this card. Uh, but then one Joker and two uh, Second Donkey to be more ways to get to your Sorcerers. One copy of Geturtle and two copy of Lizard Draw for the uh, draw two combo. One copy of the newest Perform Pal, Perform Pal Dag Dagger Man. It's like a monkey board from Grave, if you don't know what it does. It's scale effect, it's a low scale, and its scale effect is that during the turn you activate it, you can add a Perform Pal from your graveyard to your hand, uh, and then if you Pendulum Summon it, uh, then it operates the same way as Zodiac Thoroughblade. You can discard a Perform Pal and draw a card, although that effect literally never comes up. You just use it to put it in your scale and add back stuff like Skullcrabat Jokers and uh, Odd Eyes Unicorns, uh, or Odd Eyes Mirage Dragons that you overlaid with. And stuff like that. It just gives you a good bit of a uh, resource to work with. And for the Sky Iris targets, I played one Odd Eyes Performer Pal Light Phoenix, and then one copy of Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. This card is just a little bit better than uh, Performer Pal Odd Eyes Unicorn, strictly because it's level three. This the effects almost never come up from either of the cards. Uh, but the fact that this is level three and can be Pendulum Summoned and is a high scale as well is uh, is the key thing that makes it just a little bit better. And so that's what I was uh, going for. But for the rest of the Pendulum Monsters, we have three Guiding Ariadnes. This card has amazing synergy with the Zoo Engine, because you're able to pop it with Dryden. You're able to pop it with uh, Zoo Barrage, which is an insane interaction. And then, obviously, you can pop it with Sky Iris and pop it with Pendulum Sorcerer, getting you searches for counter traps. So this is just a really strong card, as well as being a scale uh, that I really uh, liked having in the deck, um, because it just allows you to search traps mid-combo and then fuel your things. And then one copy of Luster. It's just a generically good scale. Um, it's not really that applicable in this deck though, unfortunately, so it might end up being cut, actually, believe it or not. But, for the Zoo Engine, uh, three copies of Rat Pier, one copy of a Whip Tail, and then one copy of a Low Scale in the form of Dragoons of Draconia to search off of Broad Bull. Now, I did not play Perform Pal King Bear, which you'd think would be an instant inclusion in this deck, but the reason I didn't play, was, like, play it was because it dilutes your deck being a rather subpar high scale as far as, like, how it goes, uh, but also the fact that every time I was doing Rat Combos, I was doing a rat combo into Broad Bull, into Dryant, uh, searching this card, and then using the two remaining rats left over, I was overlaying into King of the Fair Limps to search either Mass Chameleon or uh, the uh, Perform Pal Lizard Draw, which is a high scale. So there was no need to include the high scale target for Broad Bull in my deck because I was always going into King of the Fair Limps with the last two rats anyway which allowed me to search a high scale there. So Rat essentially is a one card scale because you're searching a low scale and a high scale. Uh, so that was what was the cool thing about this deck that we really liked. And then obviously if you already had a high scale, you just search Mass Chameleon to make uh, some synchro plays. But three Terra Top and one Taka Tom board, uh, just to further exemplify the uh, Zodiac engine, getting to the Zoo cards is pretty important. And then like I mentioned before, there's a copy of Mass Chameleon in this deck to make first turn boards that usually consisted of Dryden, King of the Fair Limps, and Stardust Dragon, plus maybe like one or two search uh, counter traps, uh, depending on what the rest of your hand was. But this deck just works around two card combos very efficiently to make good boards like that. And Stardust Dragon is just an insanely good card right now. Um, it's back to one of those formats where Stardust just hits a lot of cards in the format uh, because you have Dryden's, you have Board Wipes, you have My Body as a Shield, which is used against your Dryden, which you can force through with Stardust. Um, and then stuff like that. Like, it's just all, all in all just really generically good. But then the last two monsters in the main deck are two copies of Max C to uh, just be good going first and going second because you can back up your board with it. And then you can also just go second and draw it, hopefully. But that's like 28 monsters. 
for the spells two copies of sky iris and one copy of odd eyes fusion odd eyes fusion is an insanely good going second card because you can sky iris away a pendulum scale in the face of their drident and then you can add odd eyes fusion and activate it and fuse from your extra deck because the normal zoo play ends with emerald drident so that's two cards on board and so there almost no one drident pops the sky iris or the scale that's in your uh, in your pendulum scale that you're targeting with sky iris but even if they did that's great because these function as drident outs as well in the essence of they're going to either get you odd eyes fusion which outs the drident unless a back row stops it or it took care of the drident problem anyway because they popped the sky iris or popped the scale therein uh, so it's it's a good little bit of uh, a good little bit of uh, going second potential and that's what i thought was going to carry me throughout the tournament but it ultimately just wasn't that big of a uh, of, uh, of an asset, apparently. I guess I just need to maximize on those numbers. But anyway, two copies of Zubaraj. Uh, these can pop Ariadne, this can pop Pendulum Scales. Uh, one of the coolest interactions that I think that this deck has is the fact that you don't have to pop Barrage itself because you're playing Pendulum Scales. And like, say you open a hand of like Ariadne or Pendulum Sorcerer plus Barrage, you can use Barrage to pop the Pendulum Sorcerer in your scale and keep it on board. And then after you've put your Zoo Exceeds on the board, you can then Pendulum Summon the Sorcerer. And this can be one of the cards you pop, thus allowing you to put it under your Exceeds turn one giving you just a little plus one in terms of uh, being able to pop more cards with Dryden. Uh, but then the last spell in the deck was uh, one copy of Book of Moon, just a good going first and going second card. I chose to play this over Raigeki because Raigeki is only good going second, and this is another trap if you draw it uh, going first. Like, it's actually almost akin to, like, Dimensional Barrier. Like, if you Book of Moon a rat, uh, rat Pierre, like, they can just end their turn. Like, it's almost just as good as Dimensional Barrier, but it's also good going second. But for uh, traps... Two copies of Dimensional Barrier. This is a card that is definitely a card of the format right now. You definitely want to be playing it uh, in your main deck in some sort of capacity. And then the four counter traps to be searched off Ariadne. Three strike and one warning. Uh, this was just a very solid trap lineup. I was really happy with the trap lineup in general. Uh, the only thing that I noticed was that as I was going second, like in sided games, I would take out like some of the Ariadne uh, cards. Like I would take out a strike and take out one of the Ariadnes, siding down to two Ariadne and three, uh, three of the counter trap. But that was just mainly to make room for things that are in my deck for going second, specifically. But, going into the extra deck, uh, one copy of Ignister, because this card is always good. Uh, one copy of Stardust Dragon, like I said, the first turn boards are typically Dryden, King of the Feralimps, and Stardust Dragon. Uh, plus whatever else you were able to access off of your, uh, off of your, like, Pendulum Summon. Usually it's backed up by, like, drawing two cards off your Guitar Lizard draw. And then you're usually able to make an Emerald after that as well, uh, depending on what your card pool was for the turn. It's This deck is just really explosive going first. It's actually just really good. Uh, one copy of Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, one Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, and then one Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Uh, these are obviously for the Odd Eyes Fusion uh, targets. Uh, but Meteor Burst Dragon is actually summonable in this deck because of the fact that we play a generic tuner in the form of Mass Chameleon. And so I did actually summon this a few times in uh, certain matchups against Zoo, where like I would just... I would have a way to beat over their whiptailed uh, Dryden or whiptailed Exceed, uh, but I just didn't want to lose my monster, and so I'd make Odd Eyes uh, Meteor Burst Dragon, and this negates activated effects from your opponent in the uh, in the battle phase. So Whiptail has, has to activate in the damage step to banish your monster. Uh, so I would just make this and attack over the monsters with Whiptail under it. So it was a pretty neat little interaction. But King of the Feralimps, Diamond Dire. And uh, one Digesto Emerald, these are my generic rank 4s. Um, I ended up siding rank 4s, I ended up siding a Dweller and a Karn Gorgon uh, for the event, just because this extra deck is really tight. Uh, but these were the ones that I definitely wanted in my main deck, because King of the Fair Lips, like I've already said, you can search high scales um, in the form of Lizard Draw, or you can search uh, Mass Chameleon going first to make Stardust. Um, and then Diamond Dyer going second has the same sort of interaction where, like, the Pendulum deck is really strong unless it gets hit by Strike. And so I'm using Diamond Dyer to pop Strikes in the back row um, off of my Zoo plays. So I'd make, like, Dryden't, uh, search my low scale, and then with my two rats left over, I would make Diamond Dyer and use Diamond Dyer to pop back row. And then uh, Digesto Emerald is obvious. You just recycle resources. I don't think you need two in a deck like this because you just have access to the Pendulum mechanic. Uh, but I'm playing two Drydents for my Zoo cards, one Broad Bull, one Tiger Mortar, and one Wild Bow. Uh, the reason I played two Drydent was because you can use all of these turn one, uh, and then like if you haven't Emerald back, you can still summon like your Whip Tail or something, um, or even like bring back a Rat off of a, a normal summon Mass Chameleon, and then make a second Drydent. So the second Drydent came up so much, um, and like it was basically like the second Drydent came up more than the second Emerald did in all the testing that I was doing. So it just seemed better. Even though the second Emerald essentially means infinite Dridents, it doesn't necessarily work that way in this deck because you have to commit your Pendulum Summon to do multiple rank 4 plays. Uh, but then for the uh, Speedroid Engine cards, one Totem Bird and one uh, MX Saber Invoker to make your Zodiac plays live. So that is the entire deck. I'm not going to show you the side deck because the side deck was really kind of 
uh, janky and was changing on the fly as far as like going into the event uh, and it wasn't really that great of a side deck uh, but I'm definitely working on that for the future to be better but let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments down below like I said I plan on playing this deck at a few upcoming regionals uh, tweaked versions thereof of it that include uh, better like going second plays uh, the going second engine uh, might just be to like increase Sky Iris because Sky Iris and Odd Ice Fusion seems to be like the best like engine card like going second thing that I can include because going first it'll just be more copies of Sky Iris and I actually really like drawing Odd Ice Fusion going first with this deck because when you open with Sky Iris plus a zoo play it's and like any way to Pendulum Sorcerer it almost guarantees that you're gonna vanilla summon Odd Ice Vortex Dragon that turn um, so you can end with Vortex Dragon Dryden plus your board um, which is really cool. So it's overall, it's a deck that I really enjoy, and uh, and I just felt like sharing it with you guys. This was a deck that I've been talking about with my Discord uh, friends for a little while, um, and a bunch of different stuff. But like I said, I'm going to be playing this at some future events, so I'll probably you'll probably be seeing this deck a little bit more on my channel. I might do a dual video with it or something, just to like show you guys like the essence of how it operates. But other than that, as always guys, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Links are in the description of my Facebook and my Patreon page. If you want to support me directly, you can definitely go check out the Patreon page. You can get in on a monthly giveaway at the end of this month for uh, for just a high dollar card that I'm going to be giving away and mailing to anybody. It's a raffle giveaway. Or you can just support this channel directly, or you can get access to my personal Discord server where I talk with people on a daily basis, talk theory, talk decks, as well as when I play games for videos, I always go to those people and say, hey, would you like to film some games? And they're like, yeah, sure. Sure. But otherwise, if you'd like to support the channel in a different way, this channel is sponsored by Second Chance Gaming, a store out of Orlando, Florida. A link to that is in the description as well. If you're looking to buy, sell cards or anything like that, or get some gear or whatever, definitely go check them out. Their prices are pretty good, and their shipping is actually very, very good as far as how quickly they like to get it out to you. And so I'm, I'm a big supporter of how they run business, and they are a big supporter of me. So if you want to support the channel and you want to buy some things, definitely go check them out. And if you buy anything, tell them that Phoenix sent you. But otherwise, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys and take care. I will see you in the next video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below.